Hey, yo, what's up? It's Ashman Kennedy, and you're watching the one and only Chris Gunther Show. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Welcome to the Chris Gunther Show. Thank y'all so much for watching. Remember to like and share this video. I would greatly appreciate it. On today's show, we are so honored to have Aspen Kennedy from the new <laughs> hit film, The Forge. What's going on with you, brother? Yeah, what's up, bro? Thanks for having me, man. <laughs> man, thanks for taking this time out, man. Congratulations yeah. on the movie, too, man. It's a huge Thank success. You, man. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, man. Yeah, let's go ahead and dive right into it, man, because, you know, it's definitely something that I think everybody should go see. And yeah. it's not an easy story to tell, but I mean, somebody had to tell it. Yeah. OK, there you go. Yeah, I, th yeah, I, th I, thought, go. I, <laughs> I thought I lost you for a second. So <laughs> so can you go ahead and share with us just a little bit about it? Oh, yeah, absolutely, bro. So The Forge is uh, in the same cinematic universe as War Room, but its central themes are discipleship forgiveness and just the power of mentorship man so it's truly a powerful story i believe is is very timely for today's society too bro what was something about your character that you identify mm -hmm. with the most man honestly uh isaiah the character in the forge he, he was raised by his mother uh, his father isn't around so he's dealing with some abandonment issues and similar to the character you know my father wasn't around and i was raised and um you know god proved himself to me as my heavenly father so seeing isaiah's a uh, turnaround point of his life turning completely around when he found Christ. That was my story of as far as like, man, God, you've been my father. You've taught me the way. And just seeing that script, it really reflected my heart and my, my life experience too, man. Was it hard to kind of pull from some of the things that you had to deal with from childhood to make mm -hmm. this character come to life? It's interesting because uh, I really feel like I didn't have to pull from it because I was graced to not have that anger and that bitterness as Isaiah has in the movie. But it was a thing where, you know, God actually put it on my heart years ago and back in 2018 to reach out to my dad and forgive him. And at the time, I didn't understand why, because I'm like, hey, I feel like, you know, I'm not mad at him. And I'm not angry. And I genuinely felt like I didn't know him that well. So, you know, following that step, looking back, it was the Holy Spirit saying, hey, I want you to reach out and do this now because, Fast forward to 2023, this opportunity came. I'm like, okay, I know what it's like to forgive and to let go of things, to be able to accept the very things that God had for me, man. So it truly was, uh, in terms of pulling from that, it was just like, all right, God, you've been my father. So let's let's get it. Prior to this role, did you have any real mm -hmm. issues with forgiveness? I didn't. I really didn't, bro, because, again, I was graced to, you know, understand that it was for me. It, it was a thing where I just didn't, my heart wasn't set up or my mind wasn't set up in a place of like, I got to hold on to this so I can be angry versus like, I have to focus on what's in front of me, you know, and let go of the past. So no, I didn't, I didn't deal with that, bro. The press run for this has been amazing. You know, yes. we've seen the, all the red carpets, very mm -hmm. disappointed in myself that I could not make one of them, but I oh, had man. too much going on, <laughs> but you yeah. know, to see all the people come out and to see the film getting so much praise and so many accolades, yeah. you know, did it make the process of making it worth it? It definitely was uh, worth it, bro, because just to see and hear the testimonies behind the stories when people have seen the movie as far as, man, God spoke to them in this way or, hey, I feel like I feel compelled to go forgive somebody or go start my own forges. It's truly been people have been entertained, but at the time they've been impacted by it and they actually want to take action. So it's definitely worth it, bro. What is something about this film that you want everybody to take away from? Man, truly, when you surrender your life to Christ, bro, like he will literally come in and take you exactly and bring you to where you need, you need to be, man. Because, you know, a lot of times we may look at surrender as, you know, I don't know what's next and, you know, I don't have it all figured out, but just admitting that you don't have it figured out gives God all the more room to come into your life and make himself known, bro. So honestly, trust is trusting God works out for you, but it's exactly what he wants within us, bro. What was it like being on set with the other cast members? Man, it was amazing. Working with the cast members, uh, Priscilla Shira, uh, Cameron Arnett, BJ Arnett. You know, I was a fan of their work uh, beforehand, as well as following Priscilla's ministries, man. So just to be able to meet them in person, but also to be able to receive from their heart as well as their art, it was it was definitely a blessing, bro. Was there anybody there that made you say, wow, like I didn't know they had that level of death of acting in them? Man. I can take that question from a place of the the producer and the directors, like their heart posture for the for the Lord, bro. Like they work at such excellence. You can see their films have all been successful, but at the same time, they keep the Lord first in everything. Like we had devotion on set every single morning at 6 a.m. We had a, a set chaplain. We had people walking around praying for us. So just to see a big set and a big film like that, but at the same time, they're honoring the Lord and everything they do. That inspired my heart, bro.
So that was my main takeaway. Hearing that just about something simple as having devotion, that doesn't happen yeah. on a lot of sets. You know, was how different was that to come into a set that mm -hmm. made sure that they kept God first? Yeah, it was really different, man, because just to be again, being on being on that set and just understanding the hard posture of everybody involved, it made the work not feel like work. It made it feel like, hey, we're here as family, but we're not here for our own sake. We're not here because I'm an I'm this actor, you're this actor, you're this director, versus like, hey, we're here to lift up the name of Jesus. And it was just a thing where we felt the peace, we felt his hand every single day. And it just it, it felt like summer camp, bro. Like when we left, I was just like, Man, we're done already. But now nah, it was really it was amazing, man. Is there anybody from the cast who you just mm -hmm. didn't really know that much of? And then all of a sudden, once you work together, it seemed mm -hmm. like you guys just knew each other forever. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's funny because uh, uh, the, the character who played Joshua, Cameron Arnett and his wife, BJ, We've met up with them for lunch a couple times, and they honestly feels like our family, man. So just, you know, it felt like a big family reunion at the premiere as well because we're like, man, we saw each other last summer, but it was such a great gathering to come back together and just spend time with each other and just be in each other's presence, man. So I'm truly grateful for everybody involved. Most of the time, once a film is over with, you're like, man, thank mm -hmm. God that's over. <laughs> but sometimes you sit back and be like, man, it's really done. Like, I had so I much fun doing it. Like, what were some of your favorite moments from working with the cast? Man, just again the joy. You felt the joy in everybody's hearts. Everybody showed up uh, on time with the uh, with just an agenda of like, hey, let's let's do let's do the best we can. Let's glorify God and let's have fun, bro. So like, honestly, uh, man, every every single person, man. What's next for you? Yeah, so what's next? I filmed a feature film earlier this year. It's a Western. It's uh, set in the 1800s. It's about the first historic cattle drive movement uh, from Georgia to Florida. So it was a lot of horseback riding, uh, a lot of cowboy stuff. And you have like Lee Majors, uh, Chandler Riggs, L. Chapman. It was pretty fun, bro. Uh, we shot in Florida for a couple months from February to April. So that's it's definitely fun. And it comes out next year, 2025. The journey you're on, it is not a sprint. It's a marathon. You've had your ups. Mm -hmm. You've had your downs. What has really got you to this point to having one of the best movies that's out in the entire country, let alone around the entire world at the moment? Man, just hearing you say that, bro, just brings joy to my heart because God has been faithful, bro. Like literally his faithfulness keeps me going. Even when I didn't know what was next, it was a thing where he wanted me to, you know, place my trust in him to know like, hey, it's not about your skill set. It's not about your talent. But it's about my presence. If you continue to obey me and allow me to carry you and open the doors that I have for you, then you don't have to struggle. You don't have to grind and try to figure things out versus just doing the simple things I expect of you, man. So that honestly, his faithfulness, bro, as this comes out, hearing the reviews, the raves, the audience feedback, I'm like, man, God, this is all your story. And I'm so grateful to be experienced and a part of it, man. What would be the best piece of advice that you could give somebody that might be struggling in their faith right now? Man, honestly, surrender is a beautiful thing because, you know, a lot of times we may not have everything figured out. We may not know what's next, but just that admission of, Lord, I don't know. I don't have a clue. And if you don't help me, I don't know how this is going to get done. It gives God all the more room to come into your life and make his, make himself known. So honestly, just trusting in God fully and wholly and wholeheartedly, man. Making room for a promise is something that is not easy, but it is necessary. Yeah. You know, what it's was necessary. What were some of the things that you had to make room for in order for this promise to become necessary? Honestly, just surrendering my career, just trusting him to say like, hey, I'll do everything that's in my responsibility, my control to be a good steward over that, but not allowing the the stress factors of what's next. Just honestly, literally trusting him as a heavenly father to say, hey, these are the plans that you have for me. Like Jeremiah 29, 11 says, hey, for the plans I know I have for you. So like, you know, to bless you, to give you a hope in the future. And so just when I read that, believing it and knowing that, hey, his word is true. So let me do what's in my control and see what God does, you know? So just that faithfulness aspect, man. Before we get out of here, you mm -hmm. know, well, this has been a lot of fun, but you're on a press run. You got to hurry up and get to your next one. What mm -hmm. would you say you want people, particularly those young black men, because we do mm -hmm. understand that the film hits on something that is very yeah. powerful and that's forgiveness, yeah. but it's also daddy issues. What yeah. would be something that maybe you would tell some of the young brothers that's watching this that might be having mm -hmm. a hard time with their own father? Truly, the best advice I would give, man, is God is a perfect heavenly father. And I know that can be difficult to understand sometimes if you don't have that father figure in your own home. But a thing where when we lend forgiveness, it's for ourselves. It's for us to let go of the pain, let go of the disappointment to say, you know what? That happened. You acknowledge it, but you have to move on because as young men, if you hold on to that thought of my dad wasn't there or I didn't have anybody in my life to help me or to guide me, 
those can seep over into your other life experiences because, hey, by God's grace, hey, I, I'm, a, I'm a husband now. I will be a father one day. So it's a thing where I'm like, if I held on to it, or my dad wasn't there, then I could think, well, maybe I won't be a good husband one day because nobody taught me versus like, no, God allowed me to understand that. But at the same time, I didn't miss out on anything because his presence was made available to me, man. So truly just taking that, man. We got a couple things to comment. You said you a husband. Nah, I'm a husband too. Hey, Green bro, nice. that's it. Congratulations, man. <laughs> yes, sir, man. <laughs> yes, Before sir. we jump out of here, if anybody wanted to connect with you and learn more about you, how can they do that? Yeah, so on Instagram is at Aspen Kennedy, A S P E N K E N N E D Y. And uh, me and my wife, we just launched in my uh, podcast, not podcast, production studio, Parable Mount Pictures. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram as well. And her podcast is called Heavenly Citizens Club on Instagram. Well, nothing else needs to be asked. Ladies and gentlemen, Aspen Kennedy from the hit film The Forge is out Thank theaters you, right now. Be sure to check it out. The Chris Gunther Show signing out. God bless. I'll see y'all next time.